morning children so in the previous class we have completed a lesson regarding uh, uh, what the old people thought about the earth was like uh, they believed it to be flat then they proved it to be round galileo did some uh, experiments copernicus was killed is that it then uh, we started to go to the space and the moon from where they we took pictures even before that Magellan went around the earth to prove that earth is round in shape so now we have got an idea about the earth now earth is very big isn't it it's so big what we see on the earth is if this is a this board is the earth if this board the entire board is the earth what we see around us is just this much just a dot can you see this dot? Huh? So this is what we see on this earth. So um, if we want to study something about the earth, like uh, where is some region located or something like that, if we have to study more about the earth, we have to go to that particular place, do all the things and then only we can learn about it okay so it's very difficult isn't it for example we know uh, india is located here where is america located is it possible for us to travel from india throughout the globe earth go to the place where america is and then study about it no it's impossible isn't it so uh, because of this problem that we have we have made a small model of our earth okay so a small model of a earth that is also spherical in shape that is also spherical in shape and it has all the features on the earth printed on that okay so we have sent the satellites we have gone to the air atmosphere for the into the space from where we took detailed pictures of the world huh? and there are other uh, ways also like uh, collecting the data so we collected all the data about the surface of the earth how the surface of the earth looks like right we gathered all this data and we printed all these on this small model okay and this small model of the earth which has all the details printed on that is called a globe so what do you mean by a globe a globe is a small model of the earth okay a globe is a small model of the earth on which we have printed all the features that we can find on this earth okay then um, mm, we can use globe for studying purpose also for example uh, we know there is an uh, we believe okay we believe if this is earth there is an axis isn't it there is an axis that passes through the north pole and the south pole isn't it okay so the globe also is positioned in the same way this is a north pole this is a south pole isn't it now this globe is fixed in the same way as the earth is rotating this is a base okay so this is the axis right this is the axis and the axis passes through north pole and south pole now when we look from this side we can see only this part of the earth now we can rotate it just like the earth rotates on its axis we can rotate it and this can be used for studying purpose also how day and night is occurring 
how day and nights are formed right now uh, to check the equator so the equator the equator the equator passes through like this okay the other latitudes also are there right so it has all the latitudes marked on that it has all the longitudes marked on that and it also has all the features that we can find on the earth okay so we know the earth rotates in which direction in which direction does the earth rotate from a west to east isn't it from a west to east the earth rotates on its axis and it takes how much time 24 hours to complete one rotation okay and that is the time what we call as a one day so what is one day one day is the time taken by the earth to complete its uh, rotation one complete rotation on its uh, axis during this time the earth receives sun uh, light from the sun and as it moves as it moves this region will be day and as it rotates what happens the other region which is behind this also will come friend and then that region also will have a day okay so globe is a small model of earth which is fixed on its axis so that we can rotate it to study how days and nights are also formed and all the features that we can find on this earth all each and every feature that we find on this earth will be printed on this uh, globe right so uh, we have seen uh, a large amount of the earth's surface is made up of water and there are some land areas also all the land areas all the water bodies oceans seas everything will be printed on this globe okay so it is almost in the same shape of the earth itself so that we can understand how earth rotates how the earth is shaped which areas are found in which part of the world everything okay so in this way a globe is an exact representation of the earth on a small scale so what do we say the globe is an exact representation of the earth you know, on a not in on a small scale okay so all this very big and the entire features on this big earth is brought into a small body so that we can keep it in our hands rotate it move it learn it and study about it okay so what do you mean by a globe a globe is a small model of the earth or we can say an exact representation of the earth with all its features on a smaller scale is called a globe okay so what do you mean by a globe a globe is a small model of the earth which has a exact representations of the all the features that we have on this earth right okay now i'll show you a globe okay see let us look at this globe see some part of this globe is colored in a blue and some part of that is colored in a brown isn't it see closely look at this okay i'll enlarge it and show you isn't it yeah some part of that is covered in a colored in a blue and uh, some part of that is colored in a brown 
okay so they are different representations actually right so the colors are representing something okay now uh, tell me what will be that that is represented in blue color and what will be that that is represented in brown color huh? yeah blue color is basically water bodies blue color water bodies and brown color huh? continents and land areas okay so mm, on the globe, what we have seen in a blue color actually are the water bodies. And what are the major water bodies that we have? Oceans and seas. Okay, so oceans and seas are the major water bodies that we have on this earth. Right now, what is an ocean? <laughs> 